Hello, I'm Smithy, the guy with the con ticky. You should know that already. Um, I hope you like uh, the video of me showing you the Blakes 4 on tour. Lovely couple. Now tour in Scotland, which I could just do with doing. Anyway, we asked some questions for the end of the month con ticky. It might be, I'd better just check. I can't, I've got my pictures on. It's probably the first today. <laughs> oh, God. We're not set to a mad regime anyway. So we've asked for some questions and we've got some. So anyway, Mark Mangan. I hope Simon, I hope you are all well bud. Do you plan on doing any touring this year? Take care. You all right? We do actually because, um, that's all right, they think I'm talking in my phone. Anyway, Sue's got a week off coming shortly, so that's when we're going to go. I was going to go today, believe it or not. Callum's going back to his base at Salisbury. I was going to park up overnight at the Drove at Stonehenge, but uh, it wasn't to be, so... The thing is, he's only just passed his test, so I'm just panicking that he's, you know, he's not done a lot of motorway driving. He's done a lot of off-road Land Rover driving in the army. He said, these are crap, these Land Rover. I said, yeah, because they're giving you old ones. You better just pass your test. I said, try and buy an old Land Rover. <laughs> anyway... I hope you like where I'm at. It's uh, you should see the tide coming in. I don't know why I pointed because we've got the microphone. Um, you should see the tide coming in as we speak. Just play it safe in Morecambe Bay. Uh, don't stray more than 100 yards, 200 yards out because it's quicksand. Anyway, John Harthill. Hi Simon, your water heater. Do you put it on when you're on? Do you, or do you put it on when you need it, or let's say you're, you are somewhere for one or two days, do you leave it on? I don't leave it on, mate, no. I just put it on as and when required, even on a site. I don't think we use it when we're on a site, because we just use their facilities. And for washing up, we just use the, you know, boil the kettle for free, because I've got a hot plate if I'm plugged into electrics. So, try and get everything for free. No, we, we put it on for showers and things like that, and then we just turn it off again. Um, while the sun's out like this. I hope you can see me all right with sun on. I've got the uh, the artificial light on. I ordered it to come out anyway. So yeah, no, we just use it as and when required, really. Uh, let's have a look. Sir Brian. Simon, I hope you charge your company for dog patrol. <laughs> Little Benji, about as big as my ankle. Do they mind you taking your dog to work, mate, and stay safe? I've no idea, and I'll tell you why. I'm still waiting for the SIA to issue 11 of us with badges. So there's 11 of us waiting for work. Um, some are doing uh, stewarding. But I don't want that. I want site security. But it's just a waiting game, isn't it? That they're supposed to be a lot, a lot off sick and everything. I won't work, you know, what can I say? You know, anyway, it's absolutely doing me nothing waiting, honestly. Kind of fantastic. You have a good channel as well. Out of all the gadgets you have acquired for the Contiki, which has been the best and which has been a complete waste of time? Cheers, Dave and Helen. Are you filming? I am. That's all right, come and say hello if you want. Is it not Rome? There. I couldn't park anywhere to go right down there. Oh, right. Where are you going anyway? It's nice to see you anyway. And you? <laughs> Who do you know around here? <laughs> Hello. What? Well, I did say, I said, I oh, know you do park here a lot, don't yeah, you? Yeah, of course I do, yeah. But, yeah. I love it. I, I, what I was doing was making a video, all right, with the tide coming in. Oh, see, oh, I said laps. to him last yeah. night. No, no, yeah. a proper video. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I do, oh, like, right. end of the month faster the ticky, yeah, right? Yeah. So everybody sends me questions so I can interact with people. Yeah. And then I thought, well, we're good to park. I thought, well, why not park up prom and sit where you, the tide's coming in? Oh, yeah, <laughs> exactly, great. yeah. And you left your gimbal in there, so you can't film it. Oh, no, no, I wouldn't have brought it with, I've just packed... Oh, on there. You don't have to take <laughs> I'm Helen. I'm Helen from Roman in Raymond. And I'm Cole from Roman and Raymond. This is Nanook. <laughs> yeah, and that's Nookie Monster. Oh. There you go. My, my dog's about as big as his tail. Is yeah, yeah. I've got two two hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, One's yeah, a teacup yeah. two hours. <laughs> Your ankle boys. Out of all the gadgets that you acquired for the con ticket, which has been the best? Well, I've actually got a, a new gadget. But I, I think overall it's got to be this Rode wireless mic. That was a, you know, and uh, the drone. 
they're the best two up to now. But the wireless mic is, it has been a game changer for me. Okay. Very really good view of the hills. Yeah. Thought I wasn't going to the next question then. Pappy's travels. Hi Simon, how long did it take you to get the number of subscribers you have and where is the point when it just gathered pace and took off? The best tip I can give for you there is don't look to find out how many you've got. I've never asked for subscribers on my channel. Only in the description I think. And um, I think it was going live maybe. I started to gain a lot of subscribers. Uh, I've now got 1,900 so thanks to every one of you. Um, I don't know, I, I, I just think it, it was just a case of just, just keep plodding on. Don't get disheartened by how many you've got and how many you haven't got. I mean, some van channels have got 25,000, so, so, you know, it's just one of them. You just, just plod on, if, if you enjoy it, it comes across, you know, that's the only advice I can give you as well. But I think it was when they started to go live with other YouTubers and things like that, and they were building their channel, I was building mine. I think that's when things started to take off a bit and all the channels were mentioning me. Um, I've got a, well I haven't got it, it's a bit between quite a few of us. We have a van life site on Facebook where you can advertise your YouTube channel. I think you already know, I think you're a member of it anyway. And, uh, but it all helps on the van channels, uh, you know, promote your video if it's of interest. Pretty only if I love it. Of interest to other people. Right, what have we got? Silver top motorhomers. Yeah. We were chatting that long, the sun's gone in. I thought the tide was going to come in. Uh, right, Simon, now winter's on the way. Cheerful, eh? yeah. Are you going to make any changes to the way you heat your motorhome? Example, fit a diesel heater. Well, I was thinking of that when I was somewhere heating the van. But now I've got the safe fill gas. I think I'll just stick with that, to be fair. And if I do the security on a site, I've been told they have to provide me with somewhere to shelter, uh, a toilet and make a brew. There's going to be a plug socket there. If I can get the van near it, I'll, I'll be using the electrics all night, so it won't make any difference. I'm open. So, yeah, that's the way I, I'm going to deal with that. I maybe even wouldn't use my heating. I would just use the... The, the 240 volt heater I've got. <laughs> They're coming back. Uh, God, it's busy, isn't it? Busy today. See you again. All right. Uh, so you asked me another question. Silver top motorhomers. Number two. If you and Susie could have a month's holiday anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Um, we have been to quite a lot of places, me and Susie, believe it or not. I think the place I've definitely never been is India, and I would love to go to India. Where are you going? Oh, arguing. You were with her? Children running up from and he's going flat out on his bicycle. There's pedestrians around. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'd love to go to India. I'll tell you what, they seem to me to be the most resourceful people. Some of them live in a house, live in a, you know, a one-bedroom place at the front and the, the business is at the back and they, they, they're knocking out pans and, you know, make you any till you want for anything. It, it just, the, the resourcefulness of them people is unbelievable. I mean, here, if you tried to do anything like that, you, you'd need a licence for this, a licence for that, and the council would come out and... It's all nonsense where we live, but yeah, if you want your own business and you're Indian, you, you've got a great start, you're living in a great country to, to get a head start as well. Which you couldn't do anything like that here. <laughs> so yeah, that's, I'd love to go to India, to be fair. Uh, silver top motorhomers, number three, brown sauce or red sauce on your bacon butty. Well, that's an easy one. It's got to be brown sauce, definitely. Somebody taking me a picture. It's got to be brown sauce, definitely. That's what I'd have. Um, yeah, I'm not a keen, not a fan of red sauce, to be fair. My sister is, she loves it. She'd have the whole bottle on a plate of chips. Uh, I, thank you for all these questions, by the way. We couldn't make a video without you giving me the questions. 
Uh, and a lot of these names I'm rhyming off to you. Uh, mate, good YouTube channels. Uh, hi mate, Bear Chills. Uh, question, are you still happy with the size of your motorhome or would you like a smaller or a bigger one? Well, I think I, if I've got another one, I mean Trevor from Postcats Camping's just got another one. And uh, he's got uh, the van type uh, motorhome. It's not a high top like mine. So I think I'd do away with the over cab bed. And I've still a four berth where the bed just comes down on a... Um, I don't know what you call it, but anyway, they, you press a button and they come down, don't they? Uh, yeah, I, I think it's the height of my van. Next time I replace it, I won't get one as tall. But it's been a great van and I love it. I, if I could keep that van forever, I would do. But our plan was to replace it every five years till we retire, you know, and get newer each time and just do it that way. But I probably won't get... I'm trying to keep the mic behind me from the wind. So you can tell the tide's coming and the wind's blowing. Yeah, I'd, I'd just get a lower top. Same size van. Just maybe not as tall. Uh, so yeah, that's what I would do. I'm just going to check my video still on. To restart it. It does turn off after a while, so I don't know how long I've been recording for. But anyway, I seem to have been here for ages now. Anyway, uh, Web Motorhome Adventures, I think it is. Yeah, you, you're the one that gave me the tips on the TV. That's why my TV is where it is, through you. So thanks for that. Uh, what's your number one favourite motorhome YouTube channel? You can only pick one. Well, that's easy. It's got to be Steve Wallace, the Canadian. Uh, definitely. If you watch Steve, he's just funny. He'll cook crap food and uh, get drunk, and he, but he is doing stealth camping all over the place. You know, he'll park behind a, you know, somewhere else that's got a few trees, and that's him camping for at night, or behind a sign in a town. It's, it's just, it's just utter nonsense, and that's what I like. You know, yeah, everything should be fun. Not, I do like Steve Wallace, so that's my favourite channel, uh, definitely. Not because he has so many subscribers and his videos get millions of views. It's just the nonsense he comes out with, that's what I like. Uh, we have got some more. I might have missed one, you know. DD Travellers. We are on a journey in our motorhome, RV, called Mr Jingles, travelling the world. Uh, question. So, so they've given me a question. I have a question, Smithy. How did you come about owning a motorhome? How much was it? And do you own it outright? Dave from DD Travellers. Well, We've been caravanners, me and Sue. We started off in a tent, then we had a trailer tent, then we got a caravan, and we've been upgrading the caravans for 25 years, maybe. And I think um, even trailer tents, we've been to France and Paris and all over the place. We've been camping all over, you know, we've toured all the battle sites of Normandy, all the World War I battle sites in a caravan. And then about three years ago, maybe, I think we've had the van three years, uh, I had a taxi, so I sold the taxi and we bought the van. But we've still got the caravan, so it's, I said to my mum, can I leave it on your drive for a couple of weeks? And it's been there like eight or nine years or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, we, we own the van, it's our van. Uh, we were going to upgrade it, you know, maybe every five years and get a newer one. But if I, do, if I did that, obviously the newer ones are costing a fortune. But, so I'd probably get a, you know, trade my van in and get a bit of finance and, you know, pay it monthly, whatever it is. But the, we, the, the reason we're doing that is because the older a van gets, the more it's costing you repairs to repair. Although my van, I haven't had to have any repairs, really. Only the servicing and things like that. Tyres, maybe. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was the sale of a taxi. I had my own taxi. So I sold that and then bought the van. And round here, your taxis cost a fortune, but you're, you're buying the plate for a hackney taxi. It's not the car itself, it's the plate it sells for 20 grand. But if you've got the plate, the car, the radios, the meters, you know, everything else, that's what the money's for. Right, I, I have lost a question somewhere. And I don't know what I've done with it. <laughs> if you did ask a question and I haven't got it, ask it me again and I'll put it the next video. I'm going to do a review of this uh, this thing I've got. I'll show you what I've got in a minute. Oh, more coffee. 
Oh, that's better. Would you believe it? It's packed up me, uh, me trail cam. What a shame. I was enjoying that. I've been following a hedgehog. I'll show you my exploits in a future video about the hedgehog. I've built him a home and everything. And uh, they actually eat slugs and snails and all sorts. So they do your garden good. So if you want to get rid of slugs and snails, make a home for a hedgehog or two. Anyway, and I'll show you how I built it and everything. Um, so, we were talking about uh, gadgets, weren't we? Uh, was it Webb's Motorhome? I've got my phone somewhere. I haven't got my glasses on. But anyway, so I've actually bought um, a Garmin sat-nav. I don't know if you can see that. So that's the new gadget for the van. It's, uh, it's the Garmin Camper 780. Uh, seven inch screen. I'll just open it and make sure the screen isn't damaged because obviously it's been transiting in a wagon somewhere. Welcome to Garmin. Let's just take the... No, it looks alright. Look at that, it's got another sticker on to uh, protect it. And I don't know if... Anyway, I'll do a review of that and I'm going to do a review in a lay-by. Uh, near Caton and I'll tell you why when you're in that spot always put things on the floor and when you drive they can't fall off um, in that lay-by is uh, you can go from Caton sorry the lay-by outside Caton to a place called Halton and uh, if you're driving a car it's 300 yards but there's an iron bridge you've got to go over, right? And it is only about five foot six wide. You know, if you've got a big car with big mirrors, you're going to take your mirrors off because th these are metal bollards at each side to make sure you're only in a small vehicle. So we'll see if, with that sat-nav, you put your dimensions of your vehicle in. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. If it, if it says it's 300 yards, I know it's causing a problem. And uh, if it takes me all through Lancaster and all the way around Skirt and then all the way around to Hot, then that's the way you should go, especially in this van. Then I'll know. You always trust your instincts, though. You don't just, you know, listen to a sat-nav. Um, anyway, what a great couple to meet. Um, can't think of the name now. Uh, I've told you that much today. I've done that many things today. Uh, Roman, Roman in Raymond. Uh, great couple, they've been to Morecambe before because I watched the video and uh, as they left me they were going for an ice cream so hey what a, what a lovely, hey what a smashing lovely couple as are all the people I've been meeting, uh, they're like me you know just get on with anybody and what you see is what you're actually getting so these YouTube people I've been meeting and the couples I've been meeting what you're actually seeing on TV or on your phone or whatever you're watching YouTube on that is how they are, you know, which is, I like that, you know, they're not false, it's, it's just, you, you're seeing what you get and that's it, and I like that, and what a, hey, what a fabulous couple, I, I actually turned the camera off because we were chatting for that long, I thought I'm going to run out of battery in a minute, and uh, I'm not going to put the whole conversation that we had because we were talking about all sorts, and hey, what a lovely couple, uh, so Roman and Raymond, check them out, great couple, <coughs> uh, I, I loved it, I loved the conversation, we, and I love meeting you, it was a pleasure. Um, yeah, so anyway, so I hope you like the question and answer session we've done today. It's uh, We haven't done one since February, so I thought it's just an, an idea where I can get you to talk to me in, in a more personal thing. You know, ask a few questions and whatever, and it's my way of giving you a bit back. <clears throat> I hope I've entertained you today. I actually thought the tide was coming in, and it wasn't, it was going out. But I couldn't see a boat, all the boats were on the on the sand. If I could have seen a boat floating I would have known whether it was coming in or going out because if they face out to the Irish Sea the tide's coming in and if they face inland towards me or the, you know, the town hall the tide's going out. So anyway there was none floating so I couldn't see which way the tide was going but I presumed it was coming in but it, it wasn't, it was going out. Uh, yeah it's, it's already been in at this time that's what's happened. Anyway I'm Smithy this is obviously a Contiki I've enjoyed myself today and I enjoyed meeting you two and uh, I'll definitely see you again. So stay safe, be lucky and I hope you truly are all lucky and I'll see you soon.